Hey y'all, it's Leslie and I'm here with another uh, project that I've done in the kind of in the background and so I'm just going to kind of show it out, uh, show it off to you guys. Uh, this one today is a project that I did. I used some metal uh, wire birdhouses that I got years ago. I'm talking years ago from Michael's and I just decorated them up. They were hideous colors. I think one of them was yellow. This one was yellow, a bright yellow. One was a bright green. One was a bright orange and one was a bright purple. Uh, no colors that really work for me. If those work for you, that's great, but not really for me. And I wanted these um, to use around Christmas time because I have Christmas uh, china uh, salad plates that match my china plates and I'll insert a picture of my uh, place setting that I use at Christmas time if if you're interested in that um, here okay now that you've seen that you can see that I use these I, they hang from my uh, <coughs> excuse me my dining room table chandelier which is you know that that light that's up there it's not really a chandelier and so uh i just bring these out at christmas and i'll leave them through easter because it kind of goes all the way through and i did them in colors that aren't really easter colors so i used um raffia on them uh but my daughter uh, has suggested that i take the raffia off and change that to twine so i will be doing that and i'm actually going to just start doing that now because uh, that will help you be able to see them a little bit better, I think. Okay, yeah, I should have not should should have done this off camera, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll delete it maybe. Sometimes I remember to delete stuff and sometimes I don't. You get the bloopers. Shaking this morning. Shake, shake. Okay. All right. Now, so we'll start with, um, we'll start with my, my favorite, but my least favorite. Okay. This is my favorite cage. I really love the, the eggs. These were wooden eggs I found. It was a bird's nest that I found. The wooden eggs I found at um, Michael's over in their wood section. The bird's nest I found at a thrift store, and I thought, oh, what? isn't that so cute? So I got it. The green moss I got from Dollar Tree, and the white moss I got from the yard, actually. This is called deer moss around here. We call that deer moss, and um, Dollar Tree has it, and, and they have it as Spanish moss, and they have one. They have both of these kinds of moss there at Dollar Tree and so I picked up the green and I picked up this uh, leafy looking one <clears throat> and then I picked up this feathery looking moss again at Dollar Tree there was just different kinds uh, when I went to my Dollar Tree so I uh, painted the eggs in a green color the same color as the cage uh, and then I did a crackle paint over them and painted them the uh, pale blue. Um, that's a robin's egg blue, actually, uh, that I used. Don't remember what brand. But anyway, I did that. I didn't do any distressing on the eggs. Um, and, you know, that's something that I might might have done if I'd thought about it a little bit longer. But, yeah, this one used to be orange. You see that? Yep. So, uh, anyway, for the cage, I did a... Uh, painted them with uh, black first. I think I painted everything in black. Yes, I did everything in black first. Nope, this one um, I painted in white first because I was going to do it in gray. And then I did the other color on top with, with a sponge. And so that's what this was. And again, these, these bird cages um, were from years ago and I've just had them in my stash. And, and this is a project that I wanted to do eventually. And you know, it's one of those things that you pull out at Christmas time because it's in that box of Christmas crafts you've been wanting to do. And every year you put something else in it and you never get started on it. Well, after Christmas this year, I was like, okay, I have time now. I want to do some of this. So I did it. And, um, you know, my Christmas decorations up, stayed up for a little bit longer and I went ahead and just put them there. 
this bird and these charms, um, I take that back, the, there was something different with this, but this was an ornament from uh, Walmart, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was from a Walmart. And uh, whatever it was hanging from, I didn't like, and, and whatever was hanging from it, I didn't like, but I liked the bird and it was, I don't know, 78 cents because it was on, in the clearance section. So I got that and I just added the little crystals None of us are liking the crystals, so we're going to redo that um, for next year. But I just have it, um, just a little piece of wire hooked under there. Can you guys see this? Oh, oh oops. <laughs> Jeez. And these cages open, but they are hecka hard to do. But, okay, so apparently that one goes that way. And, <laughs> oh boy. They call me cluts around here. Okay, so there you go. And I won't turn the rest of them upside down, but there you go. There's one of the bird houses. So, uh, or bird cages, I should say. This one was, like I said, a hideous yellow. Painted it black. Went over it with, I think, a cream color to kind of give some... No, the next thing I did was I did the brown. Um, kind of a rusty brown. And then I did a little bit of cream. No, maybe I did the cream second. I did the cream second, and then I went with the rusty brown because you can see I didn't get very close up in there with the sponges, and it was just a little bit too brown and cream, so I went back with the black and really love how that turned out. For this one, I found some of these little tiny birds in Michael's, um, and um, I picked up a pack of those. There was um, maybe 10 or 12 in there, or, or maybe it was four or five in, in each pack, but I picked up them, and uh, ran a little wire, just, you can see that wire is not straight. I think you can see that, can you guys? Oh, maybe I'll do it like that. Now you can see I'm on the wire. And I put the two cardinals, although two male cardinals probably wouldn't be sitting together, but that they are in my cage. Um, but, uh, so yeah. And then I had a different kind of moss that I put down in the bottom. I don't like this moss in this cage, just to say. You know, you you make a project and then you rethink it a thousand times. Um, I don't know if you do that, but I do. And so I'm probably going to take this moss out and put some deer moss in the bottom of it. I'm, I'm just not digging this moss in the first place. <clears throat> this bird cage, um, I'm looking to see if I can find a peek of what color it was. I don't remember them. Um, so what I did with it was I painted it the robin's egg blue, um, again, trying to tie everything together in a way and the robin's egg blue. And then I went over it with some white and then toned it down with some of the black. And it's just, um, to me, these are indicating that maybe this was a copper color and it has, um, got the verdigris on it from the um, tarnishing that's happened and and that's what I'm thinking about all of these it's either completely rusted or it's tarnishing from whatever it was <clears throat> this one I put in that leafy uh, moss down in the bottom and you can see that I added just some birds around on it and I'm just thinking that they were picking around for some seeds and got trapped inside the cage <laughs> this bird nest um, um, doesn't have any birds in it. Uh, doesn't have any eggs in it. What it has is it has some of these feathers and 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 one of my subbies has a, a, a big issue with feathers and so I just wanted to show her, you know, that I have trapped some chicken feathers in there and I have um, <clears throat> this um, green moss again that's from uh, Dollar Tree and I've just piled that in there. So the bird that was in here is obviously way too big for this cage, but there is um, evidence that there was a bird once in there. And I guess you see all that. And again, this one was, I think this one might have been even been white or blue to start with. And then I painted it a white and went back over it with a little bit of this gunmetal gray. Um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it and it makes it look like the the white is just tarnish that's happening over the years. So anyway, like I said, I hang these um, from that chandelier and they stay up through Easter. So I wanted to stop in and let you guys see that and um, let you know that we will 
Um, I'll be showing you some more things. I've got an engagement album that I'll be showing you soon that was from my daughter. Yeah, I just showed the wedding album. Well, I finally got the engagement album from her so that I can show that to you. And I have organizational, that's mainly what I've been doing is organizing um, in my craft room. And so I'll be working on that over the next few days and showing you some things as I go along. And I hope to see you soon. Please make sure that you like this video, subscribe, let me know of anything that you'd like to see me do or, you know, just any kind of comments down below. I appreciate it very much. So I hope you all have a great day and